Welcome back to Master Guitar. This is for the Tuesday 2600 playlist. <clears throat> Basically, how to get a good lead tone out of your synth. Okay, so let me explain what you got going on here. First thing I well, let's call your attention to is over here. This output, the left output, is going into my Marshall head. The right output is going up to my little K Custom tiny little KG1 amplifier, which actually is a great sound of the lamp. So, the first thing you want to do when you pick up your synth is you're going to want to. I literally just tuned my oscillators. Uh, I've got a. It's 54 degrees out here. It's cold. So let's talk about how to tune it. The first thing you do, I'm not going to actually go to get the pedal right now, but get your other VCOs volume down. And just put, you want to take get VCO2 set to VCO1 and then just knock it just like a couple of cents out of tune. Now let's get VCO3. Okay, now I got it in tune. All right, <clears throat> so let's talk about, so basically now this takes out this, this, and this. We'll talk about pulse width modulation later on, but basically right now I've got the pulse set where I like it on the sound. So basically this is a uh, kind of a um, it's a very classic 2600 sound. I call it the lucky man sound. I'm not going to explain why. Um, if you're my age, you know why. Um, I'm just trying to avoid copyright strikes by explaining why, but that's a classic tone. So <clears throat> You'll notice I've got my initial filter, I've got that set a little bit past 100. You're going to want to get that to taste. It's about on 25% on fine tune, and my resonance is almost all the way down on minimum. And I'll show you why. Now, the more you crank up your resonance, the, this is being cascaded right into your ADSR. So if you So that that's the reason why. So the more you cr crank this up, the more this actually gives it the sweep sound. So if we crank this down, bring it almost all the way to minimum. And the more I crank it up. So, just, you know, something to keep in mind because you can actually sit here and. And now you do all that on the resonance. I've got this set on the 4012. This is the classic ARP uh, filter. Now, because of the lawsuit that Moog filed against uh, ARP, they settled it by switching out to what became the 4072 filter. And that sounds like this. Can you hear a lot of difference out of that? I sure can't. In some cases, I actually like the 4072 better than the 4012, but... All right. So basically that's the way it's set. Um, the only thing I've got set on here is I've got my VCO2 is up. You can kind of bring this to taste. You're going to have to keep in mind, as your temperature changes, because this is a real analog synth, you've got to keep this in mind and you've got to keep your fine tuning in mind. That's about it. So, pulse width modulation, I got that set on a little bit past the fourth line. It's kind of edged at the bottom. Ring mod is all the way down. I've got the volume and all three oscillators all the way up. Noise gen all the way down. Of course you can bring that up if you want. <laughs> the 
the you know ADSR, like I said, I've got that almost all the way up to 75%. And my keyboard CV is down. VCO3 is all the way down. So if you want, we can bring VCO3 in. I got a little bit of portamento on there, so that's the next thing we're going to look at. This is a good standard lead tone. We're not worried about LFO right now on this. My envelope follower is all the way down. Ring mod is all the way up. And again, <clears throat> VCO, the VCO2 control over here is pretty much to pretty much to taste on this one. So you can bring that up or down. See, it's more muted that way, and that way it's just really subtle. And that's basically it. <clears throat> Sample and hold all the way down, and this is a good standard lead sound for you to get with your synth. So if you're just looking for how do I get this to sound good? Now keep in mind, you can bring this completely up a whole nother octave by bringing it all the way up to about here, but then that means you got to retune all your oscillators. So there I just dropped, I just dropped this oscillator all the way down a full octave. this thing back in tune. And I just did all that by ear. Also a good way to get your uh, ear to pitch. All right, so there you go. I <coughs> hope you enjoyed this. This is uh, just so you can know, just remember I've got sawtooth, sawtooth, sawtooth. Follow the colors of the chords. You can see Sawtooth is going into VCO1, Sawtooth is going into VCO2, and Sawtooth is going into VCO3. All right, may, may, not, may, may not make a lot of sense right now. As you do this, it'll make more and more sense. All right, remember, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll get some more patches out to you later on. We'll see ya. Bye.